In 2021, the World Bank Collection of Development Indicators confirmed the percentage of total population of children between age 0 and 14 in Nigeria to be 43.31, while that of women stood at 49.31, which shows that they dominate this population of the country. Little wonder the unrelented air force of the wife of the governor, Mrs. Betty Anyawu Akiridulu, to give succor to women and children in society through her various projects in Ondo State. Thank you so much. Addressing the garden of female lawyers in Akure, the governor's wife lauded the association's commitment towards saving mankind, saying it is in line with her convictions, values, and posits for relative peace in the country. I am a witness to this organization's efficiency, dexterity, and capability. I have experienced its finesse at various instances, from Imo State to Oyo State and even here in Ondo State, where we have regularly been collaborating on critical fronts. She noted that working together with the association on different occasions has been fascinating, fulfilling, and mutually rewarding, especially in the establishment of Ondo State Agency Against Gender-Based Violence, charging them to continue to serve irrespective of limitations. It is regrettable to note that the number of orchards on our streets continues to rise unabated and posing their challenges to governments and organizations in the rank of feeder alike. We must act now to hold the increasing number of street children even as we continue to sustain successes already recorded in the fight against gender-based violence. Chairperson of FIDA in Ondo State, Catherine Ogunjebi listed the objectives of the association to include promoting, preserving, and protecting the rights of women and children in Nigeria, hence the theme for this year's event, Women and Sustainable National Development, Practical Solutions to Gender-Based Violence. The theme for our week was carefully researched. Given the recent increase in the number of cases of gender-based violence, with majorly women and children at the receiving end, of sad reality is the plight of women and children survivors from the Dastardly Act at all recently. And we pray that the good Lord will rest their souls and console the survivors of the attack. Special advisor to Governor Kredulu on gender, Olamide Falano, commended FIDA for standing tall on issues concerning gender-based violence in Nondo State. There is a need for us to even do more, you know, to be more innovative in our approach, to be more innovative in whatever we do, towards stepping down this ugly trend of gender-based violence. Declaring the event open, Governor of Ondo State, Uluwaru Timi Akiridulu, represented by the State Attorney General, Charles Titiloye, lauded women in Ondo State for their display of support towards the growth of the state. We don't give room for violation of rights of women. Uh, don't have the days when issues involving women will be thrown under the carpet. We continue to work effectively to protect the rights of women. The one-week program is expected to climax with a dinner, investiture of patrons and matrons, and award night. Omori Olahunbiji, OSRC News.